did it. My history wasn't my choice. I, I gotta, gotta make sure history can't history repeat itself. So lately I've been wondering why promised progress is taking so long. I was born perfectly punctual with presidential pigment and privilege. Mm -hmm. Right on time to two parents who believed if you weren't five minutes early, you, you were late. late. Well, I was born late with adult level stress on my face. <laughs> a blended family of one parent, countless uncles, and a few cousin households. We slept into the beds that went better into the cold floors. Yep. Our grass was green. <laughs> At times, we were fist in by struggle. Our white picket fences were gray because the sun never quite shined on it the right way. I was, I was withdrawn, withdrawn from, from the world. world. Outside of white picket fences that were reflecting my own safety back at me. And our grass was always green because mom and dad put that extra green into the landscaping, uh -huh. outlining their American dream and destinies of highlighted yellow daisies. <clears throat> and I grew up where money grows on family trees to become trust funds and college tuitions for babies not even born yet. For centuries of water in the roots of those Marilyn Willie Lynch. Only to be concealed by print picnic blanket baskets and Come fabrics on. full of future promise. Yeah. I grew up in a town where money trees couldn't be planted because you didn't want to disrespect the grounds where your ancestors' roots were rooted. So instead, we had a hustle mentality. Corner and auction blocks were the equivalent to have your own store. And stash spots between gates and padlocks was where the merch was stored. My history wasn't my choice. I, I gotta, gotta make, make sure, sure history can repeat itself. So lately, I've been wondering why promise progress is taking so long. And I was born into a class where the answers were already written for me. And diplomas were etched into my bones, despite the number of shooters with my skin tone bearing arms and causing mass mourning on a typical school day morning because apparently mental illness explains such disease decisions. I was born in a time, I was born in a time when you walk the scenic routes to school to avoid triggers. And you search for that one white person that would dare call you nigger, but not because you understood his history, but because it was a powerful moment to pretend like you actually took the time out to research these historical figure history. Yeah. But the truth is hidden in old books that public schools have spent millions of dollars on so the truth can be bent and the scales can stay tilted. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up in the era of Reaganomics, and hip-hop dudes told me that he was responsible for cocaine lace pockets. I grew up in a time when Michael Jackson's We Are The World united us, and he forced us to have a conversation with the man in the mirror. And I came up when Pac became a prophet, preaching Brenda's got a baby, so be cautious. And I grew up in this era where white men like Lincoln, Kennedy, and Clinton separated themselves from ignorance in order to embrace truth. And I grew up in a time when Ice-T told us to watch out for those cops who are really robbers and that the government passes laws to ensure corporate profits. I guess my history's always been white lies and false knowledge. And, and it just took too long for somebody to properly drop it. Yo, Chris, let's remix this. So what you think? I'm thinking what you need to know about me is that I'm a danger to society. An educated black man with a bachelor's degree. 30 years old. 30 years old and my baby mama is married to me. I can have a conversation with the president or with the gangsters in the street. He was a hustler. He could leave home with a pack of socks and come back with a pack of meat. And on top of all of that, I love God and he loves me. And what you, know to me, and what you need to know about me is the passion pours from my pores. And when I write poems, it pours. And I've never been normal. But often referred to as overly sensitive because I write so many sentences to express my sentiments in. And hope that one day there are gifts I can give. And when I write poems and pick up this paper, it's similar to prayer except my poems fail to face each other in symmetrical fashion. They just grip on the pins and attempt to turn former memories into wow. similes of the experiences that I've played. So I can reimagine them and let them over again. Our history wasn't our choice. We gotta make sure history can't repeat itself. So lately, we've been wondering why promise progress is taking so long. Hey. Hey.